The einstein de Haas effect shows the macroscopic effects of spin. In particular, it shows that there is an intrinsic angular momentum within each electron. What we'll see is that a changing magnetization can cause an object to rotate. The experiment was first thought of by Richardson in 1908 and later performed by Einstein and de Haas in 1950. So how can we set up this experiment? Let's imagine a ferromagnetic cylinder hanging from a string so that it can rotate along its center. If the cylinder is not magnetized, all electron spins point in different directions. And if the cylinder doesn't move, its total angular momentum is zero. Now we switch on a magnetic field. This makes every single spin of the cylinder point in the same direction and the cylinder starts to rotate. How can we explain this? In the beginning, the spins were pointing in random directions, so the total spin was zero. After switching on the magnetic field, the cylinder got magnetized, hence there is now a spin parallel to the magnetic field. The change in spin equals an intrinsic angular momentum. But because angular momentum has to be conserved, the difference must translate to a rotation of the cylinder. Fun fact, people didn't know about spin until 1925, so Einstein and de Haas assumed the effect to rely on the orbital motion of electrons around the nucleus instead. But that's pretty much it for today, thanks for watching!